Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Monday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. Where we're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast with a statement and it's this. If you'll learn how to be led by the Spirit of God, He will lead you into a life that is beyond anything you could ask or think. Romans chapter 8 verse 14 says this, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So sons of God, daughters of God, are supposed to be led by the Spirit of God. You see, God wants to lead you and me in every area of our lives, every day of our lives. And if we'll follow Him, we'll end up at a very good place. Psalm 23 is a very familiar psalm to a lot of people. And the psalmist starts by saying, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And this psalm is about a man, David, who followed the Lord. And it's about the good destination that the Lord led him into. He talks about green pastures. He talks about still waters. He talks about his soul being restored and a table being prepared for him in the presence of his enemies. He talks about his cup running over. And then he finishes by saying, Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Well, why are goodness and mercy following him? Because he's following the Lord. You remember he started the psalm by saying, The Lord is my shepherd. Well, sheep follow their shepherd. And when David followed the Lord and followed the Lord's leading, the Lord led him into a very, very good place. Now, friend, if we are being led by the Spirit, then one thing that that means is that we are not running our own lives and that we are not leading ourselves. We were not created to operate independent of the Spirit's leading. And you, are not, you and I are not supposed to be making all of life's decisions apart from the direction of the Lord. We're not supposed to be just relying on our own understanding or relying our, on our own intellect and making decisions based on what we want to do and making decisions based on what we know. We have help in this life to make every decision that we come in contact with. And we're supposed to be getting direction from the Spirit of God. You know, a lot of people just pick where they want to work and where they want to go to church and what they want to do with their lives. And friend, you and I are not supposed to be operating like that. We're supposed to be getting direction from the Lord and following His leading and allowing Him to show us where we're supposed to work, what we're supposed to do with our lives, and where we're supposed to go to church. And if we'll follow His leading and His direction, that's when we can end up in the good place that God wants us to end up in. Now, how are we going to get God's direction for our life? Well, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, and lean not to your own understanding, but acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He will direct your paths. See, we're supposed to be asking the Lord all the time, Lord, what do you want me to do? Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to say? We're supposed to be acknowledging Him in all that we do. And it's these people that are going to get the Lord's direction and the Lord's leading in their lives. If you don't care enough to even ask the Lord what He wants you to do, and you don't care enough to even acknowledge Him, then you're not going to get His direction for your life. But if you do acknowledge Him in your ways, He will direct your paths. And if you follow Him, you're going to end up in the best place that you could ever imagine. The Lord would lead you into a good place. But, but friend, we have to acknowledge Him if we want to get His direction. You know, I worked in the golf business before I came into ministry. And I worked in, in the golf business for about four or five years and every day when I would pull into the parking lot, I would pretty much park in the same spot. And one day I pulled in and the Lord just spoke to my heart. He just said, don't park here today. So I backed my car up and moved it to a different spot. Well, after I got off work that day, I was out playing golf and I was on hole three and I was watching a guy hit a shot on hole two and he hit his ball and it hit the car that was parked in the spot that I would have been parked in if the Lord hadn't led me to park somewhere else. And friend, I just gave you that testimony because I want you to know that God wants to lead you in the small things of life, in the big things of life, in all things of your life. He wants to lead you and guide you. And you need to practice in every area of your life, acknowledging Him 
and practice in the small things. I've asked the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to wear today? Lord, which way do you want me to go to work? Why? Because as I practice acknowledging him, I'm going to develop in being led by him and he's going to lead me into a good place. Friend, as we're closing today, I want to remind you of three things. Number one, God wants to lead you in every area of your life, every day of your life, and if you'll follow him, you'll end up in a good place. Number two, to be led by the Spirit means you're not leading yourself and not running your own life. And number three, to get God's direction, you have to acknowledge him in all your ways. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today, Lord that you want to lead us and direct us in every area of our lives. And Lord, we make a decision today that we're going to acknowledge you, we're going to be directed by you, we're going to follow you, and we're going to end up in the good place that you want to lead us into. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.